Back in the book segment tonight, rolling with Corolla, two incredible stories. One about Hitler, but first in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, at the Tippecanoe Grammar School, they recently had a switch up day. Educators run that place apparently felt that girls and boys should switch genders. It was all voluntary, but somewhat disturbing. This mom, who did not want to be identified, got the flyer from school last week announcing that this Friday would be Gender Bender Day. Boys dress up like girls, girls dress up like boys. I was speechless, actually. She kept her son home from school Friday, as did a few others. He said, well, no, I have to go to school because the principal said we have to dress like a girl. Milwaukee Public School says it's all voluntary. But this mom doesn't want her child to be put into a position of not participating either. In the end, we couldn't find many kids who showed up dressed like the opposite sex, just a couple teachers. And in the end, it was the teachers and other adults in the school who had the switch it up school spirit. Joining us now from Los Angeles to react, the podcast king, Adam Carolla. And you say? Uh, I say, well, imagine if you went to that principal and you said, let's do Cowboys and Indians Day. What do you think they would say? Can't say Indians. Or if you said, let's. Maybe Cowboys and Native yeah, American Day. What if we just, let's do Pilgrims Day. What if you said, I'll do, uh, I'll give you a choice, favorite character from the Bible or favorite character from Rocky Horror Picture Show? Which one do you think would win if they dedicated <laughs> a day to it? Sad, well, but true. You know why and they're let me doing tell you this, something. though, right? Why? Well, it's all about anti-bullying and putting the children in other people's positions so they don't make fun of girls and boys. It's a politically correct tactic that's far too sophisticated for the children to understand. <clears throat> and that's why it's stupid. And that's why these educators are pinheads. Because while they may it, have a noble intent, they have no idea how children process things. So you, you, know, you don't dress up but, like a little girl when you're five and you're a boy. That's just stupid. Go ahead. Well, putting a boy in a poodle skirt and saddle yeah, shoes I mean, it's insane. is bullying. I mean, listen, I have a six-year-old son. I have twins. He had to ride in his sister's pink car seat the other day for a mile, and he screamed like a stuck pig the entire time. That's a good sign. don't like it. That's a good sign, because if he had liked that, he might have to send him to camp. All right, yes, now, I have to drop um, him off. I, I want to put something up on the screen here. This is in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. a billboard. It's right off the 405, and it's a tea kettle. It's an ad for a tea kettle. All right, who does it look like, Corolla? Rosie O'Donnell? <laughs> no. You want to try again? Adolf Hitler? Yes! <laughs> yeah. a, lot of people no, felt, is... a lot of people felt that the tea kettle ad looked a lot like Hitler, so they had to take it down. <laughs> Can you, now, you saw, I understand you actually saw this ad when it was up. Yeah, I did. Well, listen, you, you live in L.A., you spend a lot of time on the 405. It's the worst freeway on the planet. Number one, this shows that J.C. Penney's is clearly against the Tea Party because they're trying to make some sort of association between Hitler, a murderous <laughs> regime, and tea. So they're anti-Tea Party. That's why it's, I wanted to take it down. It's so, this is it's insane. so ridiculous. It's so crazy. Well, listen, I, I, have a waffle, I have a waffle iron that looks exactly like Manuel Noriega, but I've never said anything until now. I have a milk box that looks like Joseph Stalin. I mean, it's, we have to do away with all the appliances. I mean, it's, I have no throw idea it up there what. one more time, though. I mean, this is, it's so ridiculous, but you know what? The tea kettle does look a little like the Fuhrer. I mean, it does. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Um, with the little mustache down there, and I, I, I just don't know. You know, uh, Liebenstrom tea? Is that what? I, I don't know. It's living space. I, I don't know. And listen, people, what this really says is people are spending too much time on the 405. We go eight right. miles an hour through this godforsaken city. But they did, uh, they did take the uh, tea kettle uh, down and... Uh, Maybe in Milwaukee they'll have all yeah, the kids dress up like I could turn a, I could turn almost any cloud into Stalin's head in a matter of 10 minutes <laughs> right. if you gave me enough pot. Adam Grohl, everybody.